And so our first award that we're going to talk about that you may already have seen but you've forgotten about <laughs> is the Events Leader of the Year. And to some degree, this is a, a misnomer because as we grow and extend, uh, it's not just one person that makes this all happen. And that's become more and more apparent in the last year. Uh, the events department in this market did over $21 million this year. And so frame of reference, that's the size of Arizona when we got it a year ago. That's the size of a, a pretty decent market in the network, $21 million. The next biggest events department in the network is less than half that size. Uh, and what I mean when I say it's not just about one leader uh, is that there is bench strength that it really has to be put together in a unique way to even get near 21 million. And this particular department has more bench strength than I'm going to comment on tonight, but I at least want to talk about the number two before we talk about the number one leader in this department, and that is Melissa Clark. Where are you? The light is blinding. Stand up, Melissa Clark. Everyone give her a round of applause. So Melissa has the distinction not only of helping Colorado become number one by a tremendous margin this year, but the true test of uh, an events leader is when you send them to another market. We've done that with sales reps before to see how, uh, you know, how we can, if, whether we can just roll into town and sell at a high rate in another market. And sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't work out for whatever reason. But we sent Melissa Clark to, um, to Philadelphia. Uh, during the manager there's maternity leave and in a six-week period it was pretty remarkable to see the turnaround you know we always believed in Philadelphia that that events department should be as strong as any other but we've we've struggled to get there uh, she dedicated herself in a way I've never seen anyone else dedicate themselves she wrote uh, what we're now calling the events Bible it was a 54 page document detailing everything she did in six weeks I don't think she had any free time she just uh, she just sat in her room and wrote and went to events and I thank her for that, and I know that next year, uh, when we have some changes in the Colorado market, uh, she is going to help make sure that department is in good hands, and she's going to cascade that bench strength down. So thank you, Melissa. And so let's get to the meat of it. Uh, the gentleman who is winning the Team Leader of the Year Award for events, uh, I am truly hoping that he wins this award for the network at the summit in a month. Uh, I'd say that he's unique in that he's one of the few people that we, we sort of said, hey, we'll give this guy a shot. And we weren't sure if, uh, if he was going to make it. And over the course of seven years, he has grown this department every single year, double digit growth. The first year was 38%, and then it tapered down to 12 or 13% for a couple years. Then he shot up into the 30s again in the middle. Then it tapered down, still double digits. And this year, he had 49% growth. That doesn't happen in year seven. That happens in year one or two when we take over a market. Uh, it, it's really been phenomenal. Uh, and so much so that we've decided to, or, or already have promoted him. Uh, you may know him. Is it going to work? Nick Bonham. <laughs> 90s dance music is his guilty pleasure. Come on up, Nick. This guy has really reinvented what you can do in an events department. He is creating a beacon for the whole network. Everyone wants to talk to him, and he is now the events leader for all of our companies. We have really aggressive targets for every office for events. Events is going to be our go-to and one of our drivers right alongside canvassing this year. So congratulations, Nick Bonham. We're also looking forward to him moving east and working out of the Telefluent and SNE offices so that he can raise all ships. So uh, thank you, Nick. <laughs> 